What's up guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com with another ROM and a flash review for Vibrant. Today we're working with Simply Galaxy 2.7.2 from Exploding Boy 70 from XDAdevelopers.com. Now previously I had booted into uh, recovery mode so that's why I booted back into recovery. But um, yeah, this is uh, obviously based on the overstock kernel, 1.5.1b uh, precise, uh, which was compiled by uh, C. Menard. Um, it's got a lot of RAM available and free. Uh, you can check this out at the link below in the description. And obviously you guys have seen this, this honeycomb style boot screen for a while. It's pretty cool to look at. Um, in addition to the way the ROM comes out of the box, there's also a speed booster package available, um, which is considered the extreme edition of this ROM. And it's got a lot of extra special things involved. You can see a list of those as well on the thread. So out of the box we have the rotary knob. You may have to adjust your uh, language settings as out of the box. I believe it's not English. Uh, so I had to adjust that to start with, but it wasn't that big of a deal. Wi-Fi and everything works great. Um, obviously it's, uh, it's a 2.2.1 build. It plays nice with the front facing camera as well. So that's always a good thing. And it's got blue accents all around, custom uh, icons for pretty much everything. Uh, and you know a nice looking um, pane glass look there. Uh, I decided to go with the TouchWiz launcher which is a custom four icon dock with an app launcher in the center of the screen at the bottom there opposed to the gingerbread launcher which typically I hate. Um, I don't know I just don't like the three icon dock. Uh, so that means with TouchWiz that we have horizontal based scrolling. Some of the default apps uh, to make a note of would be the faster fix GPS option in which you can select your region such as North America to so go and it will make some select changes for that. This also includes Heathen's uh, GPS fix which has a working GPS for this. Um, in my opinion it's a little slow but it does get a lock. It wasn't extremely precise but in a static location I was able to lock in about 9 to 10 satellites in probably about 30 to 45 seconds. So a little slower than some stock GPS uh, rundowns that I've done in the past, but hey, it still gets the job done. Um, so you should be able to lock GPS fairly re decent, you know. So uh, it's got the black honeycomb theme, which is based on the black Android theme, uh, which is all thanks to Pele uh, or Pale, however you want to say it. Uh, the phone is obviously themed with blue accents, and it's got its own little custom noises. Voice recording is built in. Obviously, we've got multiple unlock screens to pick from, as we've seen in most of the 2.2.1s. Uh, so you would have plenty of options, and each of them are kind of themed with their own little theme as well. Uh, for example, if we went with the Android unlock, it's got the themed um, unlock. So. It's got its own little touch to each of the unlock screens, uh, as you can see there. Uh, it is pre-rooted, obviously, out of the box with the latest BusyBox, which is actually 1.19 now, as opposed to 1.17, so you should see some more stability in that. Uh, it's Clockwork Mod 3.0 compatible with an updater script, and um, like I said, it mentioned it does have uh, the call recording, which is actually kind of nice, especially if you're going to be on the phone with a telemarketer or you need to record something. Uh, there's been times where I'm talking to people and I'm just like, wow, I should really, really record this conversation. It's so ridiculous. So I can uh, definitely understand the need for that. Uh, out of the box, it has a themed market. Unfortunately, I lost mine pretty much instantly like I do with a lot of the themed markets. And uh, it ac actually just updated itself. So that kind of sucked because it was really cool. Uh, it does have the hacked camera out of the box. Obviously, it has full front-facing support. So if we were to do a turnaround there, we could see ourselves. Um, so the hacked camera obviously does the power button for the shutter, which is great. Um, and obviously it plays very nicely with the, uh, the front-facing camera as well. A um, couple other apps to mention uh, on this particular ROM would be the music player. It's got a fully uh, themed music player, I believe, on the uh, speed booster package. It's also got a themed gingerbread keyboard on the speed booster package as well with a zip aligned script. So I recommend adding the speed booster package as that seems to be pretty cool. I'm not sure why it's not a part of the original ROM, but it's not. So the browser's been optimized for more stability and it's actually quite a bit faster. One thing that I've noticed that I do enjoy about this phone is how fast it rotates. I feel like it rotates faster 
than a lot of other vibrant ROMs. So I think that's really cool. Uh, so I mean obviously the browser is very very quick and you can do things super fast. And like I said all the apps rotate very very fast which is cool. So let's just look at someone uh, in the most popular browsing and it just everything is very swift with this so it's very cool. Cool to see um, and you know obviously the browsers are very quick. Uh, I'm not sure if it has the JPA Wi-Fi fix but it probably does. Um, so more great work that we've seen from um, the Exploding Boy 70. He does an absolutely outstanding job. Uh, be sure to stay tuned at the end of this broadcast for scores from uh, from a lot of our top benchmarking tools so you can see a lot more about what this ROM has to offer you. Also, keep in mind that we do hard debrick the Vibrant now. If you're in a situation in which you cannot power on the Vibrant at all and you're out of warranty or you're in warranty and you don't feel like you're going to get it covered under warranty, send it to us. We can actually revive a fully dead bricked Vibrant. Now this is support past what a jig can do. Also though, remember we do have the jigs still on sale for 8 bucks a pop and they're easy access to download mode and they do a great job. And also, I haven't really made an announcement from the Vibrant crowd, but these are the V2 cameras that still have a ton in stock. $42.50 with free shipping. That's about the cheapest price you're going to find anywhere in the world on a single V2 camera, unless you find a used one. Uh, so they've been selling great. You buy two, you save five. You buy three, you save ten. So on and so forth. We do sell multiple quantities, so don't be worried about that. Uh, but you can get that, all that and more at mobiletechvideos.com. And remember, the hard debricking JTAG service is available now for i9000 and Vibrant. So, with all that said, this is simply Galaxy 2.7.2 by Exploding Boy 70. Very good ROM. Be sure to donate to the developer. He did an outstanding job on this ROM, as he does on practically all his ROMs. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you have not to us on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook. Be sure to like us and follow us on Twitter. We'd love to have you as a follower, uh, a liker, or a viewer slash subscriber here on YouTube. So, until next time, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.